Yo, what is going on guys? Today I'm going to be watching and reacting to Harry Potter. Harry Potter? Did I just say Harry Potter? Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince. For some reason I always thought it was the Half-Blooded Prince. Because I, I always knew the names of these films before I've even seen them, but I... Whatever. Doesn't matter. Very excited to be watching this because, I mean, I've been loving the Harry Potter films. To me, they've been getting better and better and better. I seriously think each one was better than the last. I know not everyone agrees with that. Some people like the third one the most. Some people say, you know, I don't know, actually, I've never heard anyone say the original is the best one, but whatever. You get what I mean. But the last few here, again, just like number five, I know nothing about. I've never seen any clips from them. Uh, again, maybe other than like one or two screenshots here or there, I've probably seen like an image of Harry Potter somewhere because I've seen him grown up in like like you know like a poster or something I've seen posters from these films so I do know you know that obviously they're gonna age which I can just assume you get what I mean but um I'm very excited to watch this nonetheless because it's been a while actually it's been about two weeks since I've watched one of these I did a couple other movies in the meantime I've watched a couple of the Matrix movies I've watched A Quiet Place so now we got this I'm all out of school now so I have a lot more free time to do this type of stuff so that's awesome if you want to see the full uncut version of this reaction, that'll be available on my Patreon, which is in the description down below, as well as early access to these videos. So let's just not waste any more time and hop right into it. As I said before, they just feel like they're getting darker and darker by the movie. And this one's literally starting off in like the darkest clouds I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> oh, I hear, uh, what's her name? Oh shit, I forget her name. I know we'll hear it again. Oh, it's just starting right after the last one? I think this is gonna be a really good one. I got a- I got a feeling. We've seen some muggles. It's so weird seeing- look, this doesn't look like Harry Potter right here at all. Bro, mayhem is ensuing already? I feel like we've never seen, like, what's going on in the real world in these movies too much. Other than a few scenes here and there. Harry Potter. Well, nights ago, I could have sworn I saw a picture, mate. Really? <laughs> well, I was going around a tweet. Yeah, he's pretty famous now, so... Hey, I was wondering... Eleven. That's when I get off. You can tell me all about that toss of Harry Potter. Bro, everyone wants Harry these days, man. I was actually Harry Potter for, uh, Halloween when I was young. Like, second grade, maybe? I liked him enough to want to be him for Halloween, only from seeing a couple of action scenes from a... Oh, Dumbledore's just gonna come here? I'm assuming he needs something. Or needs to tell him something. Take my arm. Do as I say. He wants to go on a date. I guess not. <laughs> what the fuck? He could become furniture. Yeah, magic, you know. The muggles who own this place are in the Canary Islands. Well, I think we should put it back in order for them, don't you? Yes. He's gonna clean the whole place just like that. Wow. They've, we've been watching these movies for, what, six movies now? And the magic in it still amazes me, you know? I'm still like, wait, they can do that? Horace, do you mind if I take this? A magazine? I do love knitting patterns. <laughs> Why is this movie so comedic? <laughs> We're only like 12 minutes into it. I like the comedy in Harry Potter, though. They have really good, just funny little... You know, family-friendly things. I like a good R-rated comedy, but it doesn't always have to be like, you know, that dirty type of comedy. You are talented, famous, and powerful. Everything Horace values. Professor Slughorn is going to try to collect you, Harry. That's why he's returning to Hogwarts, and it's crucial he should return. Oh, uh, he wants him to come back. Let's be real here. Ron is basically part of the Weasley family at this point. Obviously, I, I meant to say Harry. I'm, I'm assuming you guys could catch on to that. Got a bit of toothpaste. <laughs> Ron better be just as funny in this movie as he's been in every other movie. Mum sort of lost it last week. Said Ginny and I had no business going back to Hogwarts. But it's too dangerous. It's kind of reasonable. I actually really like how they're making their parents like that. It's just realistic, you know? They're focusing on Draco a bit there. Lizzie, you can't do this. He can't be trusted. The dark Lord trusts him. Oh, her name's Lestrange, right? Wait, 
Oh no, we're on HBO Max. It won't tell me here. I, I know I ought not to be here. The Dark Lord himself forbade me to speak of this. If the Dark Lord has forbidden it, you ought not to speak. Put it down, Bella. We mustn't touch what isn't ours. So what is Snape doing with them? Severus so Snape, watch over Draco Malfoy as he attempts to fulfill the Dark Lord's wishes. I will. Was that like a promise thing? Where you have to fulfill it or something? And if Draco should fail, will you yourself carry out? What is the dark deed? I will. Oh no. I don't know what this dark deed is, but it doesn't sound very good. I run. Nah, girl, don't even try to talk to Ron. Ron is reserved for Hermione. Is it me or do Draco and Mummy look like two people who don't want to be followed? Oh no. They're gonna follow them for sure. He was a little hesitant to walk in there. It was a ceremony. An initiation. He's one of them. He's not wrong. Harry is under the impression Draco Malfoy is now a Death Eater. Then what's he doing in Borgen and Burks? Browsing for furniture? It's a creepy shot. He's a creepy bloke. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. Where's Harry? Because he's hiding somewhere. Oh. You two go on. Oh shit. Oh shit we're gonna have a bit of a there's there's gonna be some kind of confrontation here i already know <laughs> didn't mummy ever tell you it was rude to eavesdrop potter oh around you lunatic <laughs> he's covered in blood again the newest member of our staff horace stubborn always someone joining hogwarts every every movie and there's always something about them that's odd whether they're a villainous or something else once there was a young man who like you sat in this very hall his name tom riddle they're just he's just telling the story man that's crazy They've gotten to that point where you might as well. Every day, dark forces attempt to penetrate this castle's walls. Their greatest weapon is you. And Draco seems to be that weapon. But it does cause a powerful infatuation or obsession. It is probably the most dangerous potion. Chill out, girls. <laughs> but it is more commonly referred to as liquid luck. That long bottom? She looks so different. One sip and you will find that all of your endeavors succeed. Oh, he's gonna want to steal that. This book is in the property of the half blooded prince. What you are looking at are memories. In this case pertaining to one individual, Voldemort. You can do things, can't you, Tom? Things other children can't. I can make things move without touching them. I can make animals do what I want without training them. I can make bad things happen to people who are mean to me. The way he's saying it, it's creepy as fuck. Obviously. Knowing who he ends up being. You see, Professor Slughorn possesses something I desire very dearly. You said Professor Slughorn will try to collect me. Do you want me to let him? Yes. This is really interesting. Draco's see honestly I didn't think Draco would be like villainous you know I always assumed he was a bully yes but villainous like to that level I never thought he would <laughs> why do I keep focusing on this girl Ron wants Hermione we all know it oh she's helping him they they need a magic free zone in the in the arena. I don't know why they haven't done that yet. Make it magic free so you can't have any of these cheating issues happening. And if you had a shred of self respect, you'd hand that book in. Not bloody likely. It's top of the class. It's even better than you, Hermione. She just doesn't like that. I knew so many girls like Hermione. So many girls like her in my high school. I'm doing it. Did you hear what she was saying back at the pub about me and her stocking? <laughs> Oh my god, that was a rough scream. What the fuck? Ah! 
Wow. I think Miss Bell is lucky to be alive. She was cursed, wasn't she? I know, Katie. Off the Quidditch pitch, she wouldn't hurt a fly. If she was delivering that to Professor Dumbledore, she wasn't doing it knowingly. It was Malfoy. Oh, he's just saying it straight up. I just know. It's not very good evidence. <laughs> so what is it he sees in her? She's smart, funny, attractive. Attractive? <laughs> you know, she's got nice skin. <laughs> what? Hermione's got nice skin. <laughs> I've never really thought about it, but I suppose, yeah. Their acting has both gotten really good over the past six movies. Like, they're very convincing in everything they say. Look at her eyes. They've been fighting again. Her and Dean. Sorry, I'm not usually lit. Why'd he stand up? Ew! Your dinner party? Pretty boring, actually. Though I think Harry enjoyed dessert. <laughs> Does Harry have a thing for Ginny? I think that's what was happening there. What the fuck is she wearing? <laughs> yeah, I guess it's the mascot. Is that why you put something in his cup? What did they put in his cup? Oh, to make him play better, probably. Oh wait. Oh, liquid luck. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. yeah. Of course, Ron's gonna take it. You kidding me? Come on, Harry. That boosted his confidence a million percent. <laughs> yeah, good shit. Hermione literally helped him out before to get the spot in the first place with magic, so she can't be that mad. Yeah, she's happy for him. <laughs> but it's it's all just a potion, man. This is like taking steroids and winning like a bodybuilding competition. Didn't put it in. Wait, really? That is fucking brilliant! Oh, what are you doing? What are you doing, Ron? What are you doing, Ron? What are you doing, Ron? Oh, I feel bad. They're a hundred percent gonna end up together. It's so obvious, bro. But like, that is actually brilliant. I'm using the word brilliant now <laughs> to not put it in just to boost his confidence. Because when you get a confidence boost, you're better at stuff. That's just how it is. A nice little placebo. I mean, can't Harry put two and two together? Obviously, she likes Ron. I'm sure he has a feeling that Ron likes her. So just, you know, just gotta let both of them know that, though. And the thing is, we know Jin. It's just a matter of knowing whether the other person likes you or not. That's all it really it comes down to. You know? Some really good directing shots here. Draco's just on, on, on. I can't say that damn word. Anonymously? Anim Anonymously. Apparently she's trying to smuggle you a love potion. <laughs> she's only interested in you because she thinks you're the chosen one. I am the chosen one. <laughs> this movie's felt like a teen drama so far, and I'm not really complaining. I kind of like it. So does this thing change things, maybe? It teleports them? A message? From Professor Dumbledore. He asked me to give you his best, and he hopes you enjoy your holiday. He's traveling. I don't trust you, Snape. Oh, yeah, so he... I see what he did. Good, Harry's listening. But he doesn't have evidence, so he can't really prove this to anyone. Alright, we get it. All she wants to do is stop me. <laughs> Oh, I know the, I know those ones. What happens if you break an unbreakable vow? You die. Oh shit. I assumed it was something like that. Voldemort has chosen Draco Malfoy for a mission. Has it occurred to you, Harry, that Snape was simply pretending to offer Draco help so he could find out what he was up to? That's not what it sounded like. Who the hell's watching them? Someone's definitely watching. Merry Christmas. And something's happening. Oh my god. Oh shit. This girl is terrifying, man. Oh shit. 
Jenny, what you doing? Oh, she's going for four hits. <laughs> oh, she's definitely trying to lure him out there. I hear some kind of a monster. Oh, this thing? This thing guy, I don't know. This is a really cool little thing going on here. Holy shit! Okay, they're out of the house, good. I was in the library the other night. I read something rather odd about a bit of rare magic. It's called cool. I understand it. What? This is perhaps the most important memory I've collected. It is also a lie. This memory has been tampered with by the same person whose memory it is, our old friend Professor Slughorn. I suspect he's ashamed of it. I knew this guy was going to be important because I was thinking like it showed up at the beginning for a little bit for a couple scenes and they don't do things in this franchise unless it's important. So 